What's going on YouTube? The great thing about where we live is that we have fresh seafood markets available. So today we're swinging into Rose's Seafood here in Seabrook, Texas. Rose's Seafood Market in Seabrook, Texas had the most amazing assortment of fresh fish that I've seen in a very, very long time. They were even kind enough to fillet it up for us and take the skin off. Now let's go back home and cook these babies up. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite Cajun dishes. It's spicy, it's creamy, and it's full of flavor, and it's very delicious. So let's get started. Okay guys, so for your ingredients, you're going to need red snapper. I also um, already seasoned this, but I have the exact measurements, and I'll link that in the description below. Uh, parsley, red pepper flakes, garlic, Lime zest, I would usually use lemon, but I just substituted that for right now because that's all I had. Uh, butter, cream cheese, red onion, uh, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and de pasta. Fresh broccoli, I just used this uh, that I got in the bag. And uh, milk, heavy cream, and for my seasonings, we're going to be using Old Bay, paprika, Blackened seasoning, Cajun seasoning, and slap your mama. So let's get started. So good, make you want to slap your mama. Paya! Okay, guys. So right now I am uh, going to add the butter to the pan. I already have some oil in there. We're going to melt that down, and then we'll add our fish. So I'm adding the fish to the pan. I have it on medium heat, and once you lay those down, don't touch them at all. Let them do their thing. So another reason why we chose to cook a seafood dish tonight, I wanna give a shout out to Matt. And Jessica, we met them on our honeymoon and Matt didn't quite know how to cook fish without it sticking to a pan. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that perfectly. Look at that beautiful color. So with your fish, you wanna have it on medium heat, like I said, and you wanna also look at the edges of your, of your filet, and you see that white color, that's how you know it's about to be um, ready to be flipped. Okay, so now that we see our white color all around the edges, we're going to flip them. So my water was boiling and now it's time to add our pasta. All right, Les, these babies are done. Let's get them out of the pan before they get overcooked. So our pasta was done. I went ahead and drained it. Now I added some butter and parsley. And now let's start in our sauce. Okay, so to start in our sauce, we're gonna add our butter. We're gonna melt that down. And then after that, we're gonna add our vegetables and soften those. Okay, so once your vegetables have softened, you wanna add your cream cheese and melt that down and mix. And from there, you wanna add your milk. Stir, stir, stir. All right, you guys, so forgive me for not filming that I have been <laughs> cooking my broccoli um, this whole time. Forgot to shoot that, but at this point, once you got it a little sauteed and it's a little soft, you want to add your garlic and your red pepper flakes. Alright, so my sauce is where I need it to be. Now's the time to add the seasonings. 
to make it more flavorful. So we're gonna add that in, even though my garlic powder is refusing. Get in there. So if you guys are wondering why I'm doing a voiceover. I screwed up. <laughs> basically, he, I don't even know what happened. His microphone thing disconnected in the middle, actually the beginning of our video. So we're compromising just for y'all and I hope y'all don't mind this. I'm doing the best I can. Hey look, you're adding heavy cream. <laughs> yes. Add your heavy cream after your seasonings and salt and pepper to taste. You guys, I am so sorry. We're a little embarrassed. <laughs> little? I'm very embarrassed. But you know what? Maybe I'll like this more. Who knows? Leave a comment below. Let, Let us, us know. know. <laughs> so this is the color you're going to be looking for. As far as flavor, it's so delicious. So let's get ready to plate this up. So obviously Sean really enjoyed the dish. If you've never made this or eaten this before, I highly recommend you to do that. Way cheaper to make at home, more special and fancy, and, and plus it's flavorful, creamy, rich, delicious. And again, you guys, if y'all have any other recipes that y'all would like me to make, please let me know and comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope y'all enjoy.